Let's, let's do this again from the top since I didn't have my mic in front of me. Anyhow, so welcome to the week that was. Finally got a little bit of reading done this morning around 7 o'clock. Managed to finish up the audiobook for Fool Moon, not Full Moon, by Jim Butcher, book two in the Harry Dresden series. Solid as always. Uh, I did read this one way, way back in the day, but I know Jim's got book 20 something. Might be 20. Anyhow, supposed to be coming out next year. And I have decided since I petered out on this series a while ago that I, I need to get down and dirty and, you know, start over from scratch because it, it's been a minute. So I finished that up. Normally, you guys know I love physical books over audiobooks with a few exceptions. This is one of those series where I say you're good either way. I remember loving the physical books first time I read them. Uh, but James Marsters also does a great job doing the audiobooks. So I'll get reviews up for that. And the other book I'm about to mention sometime in the next week. I'm running a little behind. So that was done just as good as the first time. And yes, I'm glad I re-listened to it because... <laughs> I'd forgotten so much about that book, it's not even funny. It has, it has been quite a while since that came out. And then last night, around midnight, because his net galley has finally decided they figured out how to motivate me, they gave me 48 hours to read this book. I have finally read my first Fonda Lee book. I know I read fantasy. I should have been, I should have had read, I should have read Fonda Lee a long time ago. And I do have Jade City on my TBR. I just haven't gotten to it. It's there. But uh, thanks to NetGalley and Macmillan Publishing for allowing me to read that a little bit ahead of time. That book comes out January. Wow, you've got a minute. So coming out January 7th, 2025, it is Breath of the Dragon. If you like uh, Rage of Dragons, Rage of Dragons, Heaven Winners, The Rage. You know which book I'm talking about. If you like that one, you like you like this one. It reminded me a lot of that book. Uh, the stories do diverge a little bit, but it's kind of got the same underlying tone. Breath of Dragons comes out in January. I will get a review up for this. Uh, Fonda Lee, in conjunction with Shannon Lee, Chris Lee's daughter, uh, put out this book, and it's got that very uh, Eastern martial flair to it so it, it's it's fantasy it, it's not earth eastern but again like i said it's definitely got that tone to it um it does not feel at all like it's supposed to be set on this planet or anything it's a fantasy world uh but yeah uh, right down to the names uh, june is your main character i hope i pronounced that right i didn't do the audiobook i don't know if there's an audiobook there probably will be an audiobook uh but june or yoon however they pronounce it uh, is the main character, and kind of follow him along. But absolutely worth it. Uh, really, I didn't know what I was going to feel going into this book. It was described as basically being kind of inspired by Bruce Lee's story, which would make sense. Shannon Lee's part of part of the writing team here, and the cover made me feel like it might be a little YA, which is not always a bad thing. But you know. I think I lowered my expectations going into it. And like I said, I finished it in two days. Check out the review for more, but I think I think you guys are going to like this book. So I did actually get a couple books knocked out. So now I finished off that. That that kind of interrupted my ebook. So I will, for next week, I will be getting back to When We Were Birds. I need to finish that off. Audiobook. Uh, like I said, I finished... I finished Dresden this morning. I have no idea what I'm going to listen to next. It will not be a Dresden book. I, I, I try to break those up. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what's sitting in my, my audiobook cart. You know, just for giggles, let me, let me take a look. Duh. Uh, my next one I plan on reading, or listening to, I should say, uh, is The Book of Elsewhere by Keanu Reeves in China. Myville? Miel, Mieville? I apologize. It's been a while since I heard his name. Oh, hey, and Keanu's part of the narration team, as is China. And Asia. Asia Kate Dillon. So we got China and Asia reading this book. <laughs> Anyhow. Yeah, I'm sure they probably haven't heard that joke before. So that's going to be my next audiobook. I'm going to get that started 
sometime tonight, probably right before I go to bed, because that's kind of when I knock my audio books out. So it has been a decent reading week. Um, obviously, Dresden, I haven't done the reviews for it so far, but Dresden's a four star for me. Breath of Dragon. See, I finished up at midnight. I'm still getting my thoughts together. This is either going to be a four or a five. It was, it was a good book. It reminded me so much of Rage of Dragons, and I gave Rage of Dragons a five. I'm going to have a hard time convincing myself not to give it a five. Let's put it that way. A little upset with myself for not knocking out Fonda Lee earlier. I got a couple other books I got to knock out beforehand, but I, I think Jade City is going to be getting on my reading list sooner rather than later. Uh, providing I can find where I, I packed it away now. Because, <laughs> yeah, we're moving August 3rd. You all know that, but yeah, it's uh, been super busy. So we are. Got to get everything over there, over there, sort everything out, and then you got to unpack it, which, as everybody knows, takes you a couple of months to pack everything up to move and two to three years to unpack. So that's that's where we're at. But yeah, I will I will drag that Fonda Lee book out because if it's if it's anywhere near as good, and I know everybody says like it's the one of her best, so if it's anywhere near as good as Breath of Dragon, I'm gonna love Jade City. That's all there is to it. I'm not going to give you my whole list. I know I've done that the last couple of weeks. The next big one, August 24th, is going to be the author event with Sarah, Lee, Sarah Reese Brennan. So as soon as I finish A Good Family, I'm going to start knocking out Long Live Evil We're in preparation for that. And I think that is it. I haven't been watching any shows lately. Uh, been trying to get some more reading done. And of course this weekend, Deadpool 3. Come on. I think that is it. I'm going to stop rambling now. I appreciate you guys swinging by. As always, I'm going to redo my Patreon, by the way. I'm going to shamelessly probably rip off a couple of ideas from Talking Story, uh, John and Jacob Benton. It's John Men's channel, but let's face it, J Jacob's, Jacob's like 1B. You know, 1A and 1B on that channel. Um, because I think they did a really great job doing theirs. Not going to be quite doing all the stuff they do, but I'm going to at least try to do the whole tier thing and kind of kind of figure that out from there. Because let's face it, so far it's uh, just been you, you, you give me 99 cents for nothing, which which is no fun and, unless you just like to you know pay for a coke every two months. Because let's face it, those prices have been going up too. But that is it. Like I said, always check out the link. And, of course, check out griftkin.com, G-R-Y-F-T-K-I-N.com. That is going to let you know uh, any special events that are coming up. Obviously, the week that was hits every Friday. Book reviews hit whenever they're done. Uh, but the author events and any special events, like we did the book read, or the buddy read with Paul Jessup and had a, had a special conversation about that. Those those are always up on the channel, what's coming up next. And if you're really, really bored, although you can obviously see them here on Google, but if you want to see them all in a nice little thing, you can click on past events uh, on, on my website. That'll show you all of the author events that we've had. So you can like uh, sort through them quickly and, and find one that maybe you want to listen to or watch. Or, you know, just put on in the background and then go outside and mow and you know just help my watch time <laughs> all right have a good one guys hope you have some five star reads and you'll see me as soon as i get those book reviews done